everyone, and welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, everyone. We'll see more of Ali Golden later on. Hey, I'm excited. Is anyone else excited about the new James Bond movie, Skyfall? <laughs> and how great is it? The theme song has been released by Adele. Have you heard that? It's Adele. I listened to it, I thought it was great for the first 30 seconds, but then James Corden comes in, cuts her off and makes you listen to Blur. <laughs> and I'm genuinely looking forward to Skyfall. I can't wait to see the next Bond girl, because the last one was the Queen, of course. <laughs> well, to give her a Bond name, Octogenarian Pussy. <laughs> I apologise, Your Majesty. There have been allegations that Skyfall has too much product placement. I read in the, the papers that, for instance, instead of martini, Bond is drinking beer, he's drinking Heineken. And it gets worse than that. Have a look at the new Russian supervillain. <laughs> you know? Yes, Mr Bond. <laughs> uh, luckiest tourists of the week, I think, were the ones on a safari bus. How lucky were these people when they looked out the window and they saw this creature rarely seen in the wild? There you go. <laughs> David Beckham in his pants. <laughs> well, to give him his Latin name, Homo Erectus. <laughs> well, of course, you can't see from that angle. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're all aware of photobombing. You know what photobombing is? Yeah. I'll do it again and let's pretend we do. Do you know what photobombing is? Yeah. That was maybe too much, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Uh, it's when you're taking a picture of someone and someone pops up in the background and does something silly. It's like this kind of thing. There's an example of photobombing <laughs> right there. It's an unfortunate situation. OK, here's another one. <laughs> Lovely fern, enjoying a trip to the shops. Well, this, I think, is the best example I have ever seen. Check this out. <laughs> There's a stingray getting involved. Look at that. Right? Although, when I first saw it, I thought, those poor girls having their picture taken, then Adrian Childs has jumped in. It's like... <laughs> We've got a packed show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, including some fabulous live music from Ellie Goulding. There she is. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Uh, OK, let's have a look and see who else is on my show tonight. Uh, my first guests are the stars of the all-conquering X Factor. It's Nicole Scherzinger, Gary Barlow... <laughs> ..and... <laughs> ..Dermot O'Leary! <laughs> oh, that's too short. We build the tension. We build the tension. Not long enough. No, come on, man. Uh, Dermot, I want a big hug when you come out You're here. You're getting one, big guy, don't That's worry. he does. And you've got to promise, no dancing, OK? <laughs> no promises. <laughs> uh, we were going to have all four judges on, OK? We had all four judges booked, uh, but uh, two couldn't make it. I want to just check this is right. Talisa is filming late tonight, is that right, guys? Uh, I believe so. I think Louis at the hairdressers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard he was picking up from the dry cleaners. <laughs> 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 um, Nicole, how lovely to see you. Hello. The lovely Nicole Scherzinger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nicole, I, you know, I, how many people have been watching The X Factor? You know some of the characters on it, because Nicole was the one who put Rylan through. <laughs> OK? Don't we love a Rylan now? Well, <laughs> have you been standing too near the track when Lewis is racing? What's going on with your yeah. ears? <laughs> he's grown a lot in the competition. It's not just about singing, you know, so... I'm sure he'd be thrilled to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got, no, I mean, he's got a good voice and he's bringing it this... He's bringing it. I love him and I love his snood. <laughs> That's the thing he's wearing over his head. That's not a euphemism. OK. <laughs> My next guest is the nation's favourite brain box. It is the fabulous Mr Stephen Fry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There he is. What is? Large as life and twice as handsome. <laughs> now... Stephen, it's lovely to have you here. You've been away. I know you're here in the UK and we're going to talk about your play at the moment, but you've been filming uh, the, the second part of The Hobbit series of films. Uh, that's right. Uh, or what may now turn out to be the third part, wow. or indeed the fourth or fifth. They seem to be stretching it out into infinity. But uh, uh, it was a small book that's become three films, and uh, I'm not in the first, which is being released in, in, uh, through Christmas, uh, but I think I'm in the second. I'm going back next year to do another couple of months on it, so it may be for the rest of my life. <laughs> I will be in the <laughs> Well, Do send, send me Scots porridge oats and, um, you know, peanut butter and British food, if you can. Well, that's all we have time for. <laughs> <laughs> 
shortest question Sorry. I've ever asked someone. 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Oh, Stephen Fry, ladies and gentlemen. OK, my next guest is one of the biggest selling music <laughs> artists in the world. It is the fabulously talented and very beautiful Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Hi. Hello, Taylor. Hey, you know, while touring the world, I want to check this with Taylor, uh, you've learned a little bit of uh, different languages, so you can talk to the fans in, I believe, Japanese, Korean, Italian, uh, Spanish, German, Le Francais aussi, I believe. Well, I can say like four things in each one of those languages. Okay. If I was to choose one around then, uh, what would you say in Japanese? Um, arigato, hi, um, moria gateru. Wow. And then you and then you go like yeah. What does moria gateru <laughs> mean? It means are you having a good time? Yeah. So you say hi, which is yes. Hi. hi. If you are, I don't know if you are during this conversation. <laughs> so that's presumptuous. Su sukoshi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you do speak... Uh, so really, if we were to say you're not fluent, but you, you could say you speak, like, six or seven or eight languages? Like a, f like a few words in each. That's, that, do not give me credit for that. That's, no, that's pretty good. That's... I just want to ask Stephen how it feels to be the Alan Davis in the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've completely <laughs> squashed by her brilliance. I, I once uh, undertook to oh, try and learn... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I once undertook to try and learn because you're worth it in lots of languages. And I'm on that gewartet pen is, for example, Dutch for because you're worth it. <laughs> which is it's a nice thing to say to Dutch people, you know, <laughs> when you buy them a drink or something. On that gewartet pen. Um, <laughs> it surprises them. So I, I would recommend that. I once knew the ashtra word for ashtray in a lot of language. Stachlopios <laughs> in Greek. I don't know why you waste money on a studio. It's fun doing the show here. <laughs> Just save it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, show there, right? We've got Taylor, we've got the X Factor guys, we've got the fabulous Stephen Fry.